So the American Academy of Pediatrics has devised a vaccination schedule that the majority of infants in the United States follow. Um, you need to follow the infant vaccination schedule in order to enter daycare or um, nursery school, kindergarten, and then ultimately into elementary school, middle school, and high school. The vaccines can start from anywhere at birth, including the hepatitis B vaccine, and then the routine vaccines start at two months, four months, six months, one year, 15 months, 18 months, um, and then the yearly flu vaccine and then boosters at four years. Um, then again, there's another set of shots at 11 years. The vaccination schedule is um, always changing uh, based on research, based on epidemics that are uh, occurring in the United States. Um, different countries have different vaccination schedules. So a child who might have been born in Europe or in Asia might have give, been given different infant vaccines because they have different infectious diseases that are predominant in their area where they live. Even throughout the United States, things like hepatitis A vaccine are optional in certain areas and they are mandatory in certain areas because there have been outbreaks of hepatitis A. Vaccination schedule is safe and we recommend using combination vaccines. It limits the amount of vaccinations your child is ultimately given. Um, it gives the same immunity and it combines certain vaccine products together. Um, and by separating out the vaccine and giving each uh, individual disease vaccine separately, it does not make the vaccine take better and it does not um, help your child's immune system. It's better to give the combined immune schedule as recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics.